Oh, looks like Grandma's got a visitor. Wow, that's a lot of food. Wait, did you see any German brothers and sisters on the way here? Mm, maybe she's just a sweet old grandma. But seriously, either way, don't go near the oven. Time for Grandma vs. Gadget's showdowns. Stay tuned for the bonus episode, too. Separating the yolks from the whites. <laughs> Kinda makes you wish they were just sold separately. Oh! Looks like a cross between Birdo and Babe. But it sure does get the job done. It's almost clean off. Huh. I wouldn't think to pair eggs with something that looks wow. like a pig. Well, maybe with a side of bacon, or ham, or sausage. Nothing like a relaxing night watching a movie together. Uh-oh, they're out of popcorn. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Cue the next gadget. Just pour in the kernels and push the button. You can already hear everything popping. Just keep that cover on, or the whole room's gonna get covered in popcorn. Oh, it's still spilling. Good idea. Add it to this giant bucket of... Oh, wait a minute. Eh, I guess you can never have too much popcorn. After all, you don't want to run out again. Mmm, potatoes. So delicious, but so hard to peel. Hmm, she had an idea. And I don't think it's just to make rice instead. It's a new gadget. You get a peeled potato and a really long potential french fry. But why stop at potatoes? Let's see what else this baby can peel. Remember, you peel it, you eat it. Aw, oh, some Ooh. fruit should be nice after all that junk food she gave you. <laughs> In other words, Granny's on a health kick. And we gotta be sneaky about our sweets. Let's just hope that this device can help us. <laughs> wow, it gives you a hollowed out banana. Still, let's not let all that good banana go to waste. But now for what we came for. Using our banana's secret hiding place. Cue the Nutella. I've heard of chocolate-covered bananas before, <laughs> but not banana-covered chocolate. Come on, like you can really keep a secret from Granny? It's tea time. Some herbal tea can be a really good choice. Look at those leaves. Ew, a tea leaf. Oh, it looks like she's got something up her sleeves. A pink elephant? Oh, I see. It holds the leaves for you. So this way, all you get is just the nice, smooth tea. And it comes in so many different flavors, from squirrel to manatee. Collect them all. Poor Nana. All those birthdays and no one's gotten her an electric mixer? Don't worry. You don't always need something electric to make things easier. Just watch. We can even mix the ingredients inside this giant bottle. Don't get any eggshells inside. And shake it. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Really getting our money's worth out of these cookie cutters. Ooh. Mmm, there Grandma approved. 
Microwaves make cooking easier, but they're such a oh. pain to clean. Hey! Angry Mama? Are you sure? We might need Angry Grandma or even Great Grandma level. Don't let anyone know that's not her real hair or she'll get really angry. Don't let the mess intimidate you. She looks like a fighter. What? Did you think she'd just do the whole thing for you? She just made it a little easier. Time for cake. It's no one's birthday, but <laughs> Grandma knows you don't need an excuse for cake. Don't worry, they even have a gadget to help you serve cake. Seriously, there's something for everything. Look at how tightly it hugs the piece of cake. And don't forget the best part. You get to lick the device at the end. I knew I should have called dibs. Time for another snack. Ooh. Some fresh, healthy cherries. Oh. oh no, a lost tooth. I knew we should have stuck to cake and ice cream. Either way, we've come prepared. A handy dandy cherry pitter. Oh. Granny seems impressed. Guess she has to watch out for her dentures. B -b -b bonus episode. Uh -huh. When you can't decide between a ball pit or a pool, why not both? What a cute little whatever it is. What's she gonna do with it? Ooh, it's like a tiny little doorknob. But something tells me it won't be tiny for long. Told ya. But what are we gonna do with it? Throwing them on the wall? Kind of reminds me of that carnival game. Except the balloons are the darts. Wait a minute. So that's how you make that toy from before. I was wondering how they were connected. And now you can make a whole team of them. Grandsational stuff. Catch you next time. why you should knock before entering. Let's hope this box will save the day. Let's see what she's got today. She's gonna need that toothbrush after all that whipping cream. You still need toothpaste. I was kind of hoping it would use lights or something to clean your teeth. It's a good thing it can fit inside her mouth. They probably make different sizes. Ooh, that's much better. A toothbrush that does the work for you just seems like a win-win. Wait, you're supposed to peel apples? Huh, 
It's like how they make that veggie pasta. I kind of want to see it keep going, so she'd make apple noodles. Oh, good. She had the same idea. Oh, she's up to something. Yeah, sausage doesn't need to be pasta. It's fine on top of pasta. Oh, you can make shoestring potatoes. Ew, you know you're not supposed to pop pimples in real life. Well, I think some people would just have fun filling the holes. It's oddly satisfying. Do you think a pore strip would work on this? I thought it already looked bad up close. Hopefully, this new gadget isn't poor related. Oh, a dumpling maker. Time for some pierogies. It's a perfect fit. Aha, it looks cute. Oh, that is a lonely little dumpling. She likes it. Think of all the dumplings she could make with that leftover dough. So this has something to do with faces. Wow, you get to make your own face masks. No matter what, breakouts just make everyone put whatever's in their kitchen on their face. Huh, tomatoes are good for your skin? Which one is best for moisturizing? Well, you still need your own jacuzzi. Ew, why is she wearing the masks like that? No, uh -oh, not the laptop! Oh no! It's a new laptop. Kinda too late for that now, isn't it? Oh good, it looks like it won't spill for now. Let's hope it works on soups too. Okay, now she's just asking for it to spill. Oh yeah, called it. Good thing milk's good for the skin. The magic box has betrayed us! Where's the gadget? Oh, did the bird steal it?
Oh, never mind. The bird is the gadget. Clever. Cool. Avocados. Did you know that they're actually berries? Oh yeah, nice and clean. That was quick. If only other produce had their own special tools. Soup mixer? Is it like a super spoon? Okay, I think I see where she's going with this. Nobody likes slaving over a hot stove top. There's even an expression about it. More tools should do the cooking for you. Oh, those boxes have a mind of their own, don't they? Oh, what's that? probably wouldn't hide your face like that. It's a nice shoehorn, but the other thing probably has some use. Good. Finally something that makes putting on socks easier. Hmm, what else can it do? Gloves do seem like the obvious next step. Huh. Did she just get that from a clown? It'd be better if they got the whole thing on. Pretty cool stuff. See you next time. Is there such a thing as too much candy? <laughs> nah. While you're here, don't miss our bonus episode at the end. Something tells me to open this box. Oh, it's all sticky. Wait a minute. The lock is chocolate. Oh, we can just eat it. Look at all these snacks. Let's just hope she didn't fill up on that lock. Vroom, vroom. We're making a candy delivery. Wow, and this machine grabs candy for you. Just fill it up, close the lid, and pick the candy you want. Want a bite? Good thing these aren't jawbreakers. It's so small, your pets could play with it. Hey, pick your own. A baby doll? Well, it's fun, but I was expecting candy. And there it is. Wow, a chocolate bath! Spas must charge extra for that. Of course, you can't forget the toppings. Oh good, we're not eating the baby. We've got marshmallows. Looks like we're not done dipping lollipops, either. Ooh, a banana. 
Yeah, something healthy before we eat more candy. So cute! A wow. giant gummy bear! Ooh, he's one tough cookie. A gummy. Eh, what if? I think a little heat should soften him up. Nice and liquid. Now take a stick or two and wrap it up. It's like a giant gummy drumstick. Wow, this robot holds your lollipop for you. But more importantly, it holds it for you when you want to put it down. Always enjoy candy with a friend. Or two. <laughs> Jelly bean soccer. Finally, we need more candy-themed sports. And it looks like we've already got our coach for the big game. Now we can't start this game without jelly beans. Pour them in. We're ready for the big kickoff. Goal! Goal, 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 goal! Now, coach, come on, collect your prize. Ow! Oh, no. Quick, put that tooth in milk. Is this soccer or hockey? <gasps> A rose. Oh, how romantic. No, don't eat it. You just pair flowers with candy. Luckily, we already have plenty of candy, too. We just need to melt them down and mix it up. Told you you're supposed to pair flowers with candy. <gasps> Just remember, you're still not supposed to eat the rose. We need to do something about those not-so-pearly whites. There's something off about this toothpaste. Guess you don't exactly need the brush. Good thing, too. You can dig into all these different flavors. Wow, they just won't stop trying to reinvent the lollipop. Are you sure that's the part that goes in your mouth? You don't want to miss out on all that delicious syrup. And the toppings. <laughs> this girl loves her toppings. If this thing dispenses candy, you're always a winner. You need a match to win. But it's not like it asks for quarters or anything. We're gonna make it rain! Candy, that is. Phew. It still looks good. Just wipe off the hair. I know sushi's raw, but that fish looks a little too fresh. Can't forget our soy sauce and wasabi. Though they're probably a little sweeter than usual. Either that, or she really likes things spicy. There's probably a market for candy sushi on conveyor belts. Ah, soda. A tried and true classic. Wait, uh, what are you doing? I get that she needed the bottle, but I could have used some soda. Wow, a nice chocolate cone. Let's add some nuts. <laughs> hey, do you want some ice cream with all that whipped cream? <laughs> a 
Of course, anything as delicious as whipped cream is plenty. All these treats, it's so hard to choose what's next. This one's a little hard to figure out. But at least it tastes all right. It's like it's coming out of its brain. Oh, so that's why they call it that. So much candy, so many delicious flavors. B -b -b bonus episode. Time to strut your stuff. Not exactly making an entrance, is she? Quick, get out the cold cream. We're gonna need it. Better yet, duct tape. Hmm. The answer to all life's problems. It takes it off and helps her put it back on. Not like before, but at least it makes an impression. With these wings, she'll be a real social butterfly. <laughs> oh, this tinsel's giving her some ideas. With these clips, they're brand new highlights. As if all that purple hair wasn't already making a statement. And just like that, she's the new life of the party. Remind me to schedule her dentist appointment. Sweet stuff! Catch you next time! Time once again for a friendly toy exchange. Hey, I said friendly. Spray on cheese. Wow. <laughs> Wouldn't exactly call that a toy. Wow, did you know it could do that? Hey, what's with that look in her eyes? You know, you should probably ask before you put your mouth on something. What's this now? An egg opener? I never would have guessed eggs were so hard to break. Eh, don't worry, folks. That chick is just here to watch the show. Well, it said it would open them, and it opened them. You know, if the chick seems to like it, who am I to question it? Watermelon is <sighs> healthy and delicious, but doesn't make a mess. If only cutting it up didn't have to be such a chore. Hint, hint. Wow, a watermelon slicer cutter. Isn't that kind of the same thing? Either way, it slices, or cuts, as advertised. Really getting your money's worth. Aw, cute. It's already in bite-sized pieces. I can finally toss that melon baller. I was kind of hoping she was paying attention during our little presentation. Eh, let's just be happy she's eating more produce. What's next? Oh, here's a device for strawberries. But what makes them so special? Let's see what else it can do. Aha, uh -huh. you can use it on a tomato, too. Or a slice of pineapple. But why stop at food? Let's try it out on other things, like this little toy ball. Ha, <laughs> good idea. Just look at it come to pieces. So basically, it cuts anything soft and malleable. <laughs> That's good to know. Uh, what a cute little frog. I think I will name him Kermit. And he's got a little pig friend, too. How <laughs> oddly appropriate. And together, they can suck up all those egg yolks. And look cute while doing it, I might add. Now, nothing can stop you from making meringue cookies. In other words, I want you to make some meringue cookies. If not for me, then for the pig. Aw, give us a kiss. What more treasures does the magic pot hold? A lemon squeezer. Well, it fits right on the lemon. So far, so good. Wow, it turns the lemon into a spritz bottle. You can really perk up that salmon and side salad. Or just do that. 
And this is why lemon juice is rarely the main event. Oh no, she's already gone mad with power! Will it work? Well, if she doesn't mind holding that big melon, why not? A cucumber sharpener. Wow. These kitchen gadgets are getting really specific. Well, first things first, let's try it out. If you ever need to shave a cucumber, your prayers have been answered. I wonder if it works on pickles, too. Okay, maybe we shouldn't let this girl stay in the kitchen unsupervised. What's next on the menu? Oh, how cute. It's a bunny. Ah, it's an egg mold. This should come in handy for Easter. Oh, look, a skull. Must be for Halloween. Or maybe she just likes skulls. Either way, let's see it in action. First, pour out the whites. How cute. The eye sockets are for the yolks. Let's steam it up. The bunny? Uh, we must have skipped a few scenes. Yeah, kind of defeats the purpose of a stencil not to stay in the lines. But to be fair, skulls aren't really supposed to have eyes anyway. Still, let's wish everyone a happy Groundhog Day. Or whatever this is for. What's up next? A finger knife. Huh, beats sharpening your nails. Technically, your thumb isn't a finger, but why split hairs? <gasps> yeah, be careful around sharp objects. Let's see it in action. Make sure to practice, and soon you'll work your way up to being Wolverine. Schnick, schnick. Yeah, I read that he's just a whiz in the kitchen. At least, when it comes to cutting. Of course, some people just don't have the patience to, well, use utensils. But they sometimes learn the hard way. It's not such a bad idea. Beware. I know girls who say the same thing about their acrylics. Well, whatever this next device is for, it's certainly alliterative. Oh, forget wordplay. Anything involving potatoes is A-OK -okay in my book. I mean, what other root vegetable can you make into chips and fries? Uh, aside from taro, that is. Shoot, it's a baby tornado potato. Kinda looks like spiral pasta. Try to see if you can stretch it out. Three, two, one. Ha, even better. You get two potato spirals for the price of one. What else can we try this on? Oh, wow, a spiral carrot. Isn't that just adorable? And look, it's actually kind of bouncy. Up next, the cucumber. Best known for turning into pickles. Wow, she managed to make it a spiral while keeping the skin on. It's that trick where you cut a banana with a toothpick all over again. And just like the carrot, it's a little bit stretchy too. Okay, I think she's starting to get mad with power. Maybe we should move on. Yeah, good idea. What's next? Look, an orange peeler. Guess we're back to those items with really specific uses. Normally, I wouldn't want anything that peels stuff on my finger, but that seems to be par for the course here. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, great success. The part of the peel comes clean off. In other words, it's time for Clementines to step up their game. See, wow. it even opens up like a flower. Such a beautiful, what the? I was wondering what happened to her. Well, I guess that's another way to open up your orange. Still, I think people want a sense of style with their fruit. It's time for our next item. What's this now? A slicer? You're telling me that's the best name their marketing team could come up with? I mean, it's short and simple. I'm not complaining, but still. Well, either way, at least it seems to be working. That's good. Wow, tomatoes, radishes, and does it even work on strawberries? Yes, it does! I guess a tool like this really speaks for itself. Cool, are we making kebabs, but bite-sized? Well, this looks kind of cute. Oh, it's another slicing device. Let's try it. Kind of looks like a comb, but don't put it in your hair. Put it in your onion. It's clever, but you kind of want a device that does the slicing for you. That said, she doesn't seem to mind. Actually, she seems to be getting a little too into all that slicing. Either this girl just got a catering job, or she's using up all our veggies. 
Oh well, at least we have another excuse to eat more vegetables. And when you're done slicing, the device adds a little bit of flair. Slice-tastic tools, right? Catch you next time! We're whipping up a secret recipe! Just add soda. Bury it in the sand. And dig it out when ready. Why, it's our old pals A and F. They need a wash. They'll need toothpaste, soap, and a rinse. But you know, with all that toothpaste, you'd think those teeth would be a little brighter. It's okay. Golden toothpaste will do the trick. After all, with gold, you get shine. But if you really want some sparkle, nothing beats a golden tooth. <laughs> While we're at it, let's scrape that tongue. Ooh, the slime comes clean off. Come on, Ab, pump up the jams with that bubble machine. <laughs> And you know what goes great with bubbles? Money. But maybe let's turn down the volume. You know, we can party on a budget, too. Cut some straws and line them up. Now roll them up and add a stick. Dip in some bubble solution and blow. And the room is filled in no time. Oh, what a cute little unicorn. And if you fill it with all sorts of sweets, it'll give you some fun-sized candy. And there's more sweets where that came from. Thanks for the candy. Take some cardboard to whip up something to hold it all in. And maybe add a familiar face. Candy's yours with just a button. Uh, sort of. What you painting? Ooh, a self-portrait. Just remember, with art, never be your own worst critic. How about we make a quick switch? Let's see, carrots, water, and a Band-Aid. But the best medicine is love. Ooh, a cupcake. Love it first bite. But some prefer savory to sweet. Ooh, talk about food with a face. This dog sure could use a blanket. Roll them up. Make a bunch. And lunch is served. Grab a blindfold. It's pinata time. Who wants to go? Money? Eh, I was hoping for candy. Well, play money can still be fun. After all, we need paper to make art. Why don't we add them inside a balloon? Blow it up. And twist it up into a letter. Give it a pop. And they all come tumbling down. F's breaking out. Let's get you a mask. Spread it out. And soon, the pimples pop right off. Sorry, A. Ew. You know, you could use some paper tape to unclog all those pesky pores. Ew. 
<laughs> when it comes to Coco, F's got his own recipe. He likes it stirred, as long as he's not stirring it. Don't worry, A. We've got something for you. Just add gummy bears to a baster. And let it sit in some hot water. Once it's melted, pour it out and add a cup. Soon you'll have your own jelly cup. Now you can have a drink and eat it too. Ooh, and don't forget the straw. Wow, let's try out this magic spray airbrush. Ooh, purple is really your color. Ah, let's try this out with some stencils. And we can try out all sorts of colors. Now peel them off. Looking good. We've got something for you too, eh? White lipstick. Actually, she gets the lipstick, and you get a great big kiss. This toy train's going places, especially when you get to draw the map. You know, it's also fun to share. It's okay. Just grab some markers. And tape them around a cup. Now add a milk foamer on top. And watch it go. And when your device finishes its run, You've got a piece of art to enjoy. Great idea! Everyone loves cat pics. Ah, breakfast. The first meal of the day. Alphabet cereal with milk. A classic! Just look at how it colors your milk. And your tongue. But when it comes to breakfast, some prefer <laughs> eggs. Why don't we suck up some yolk and use it to write some letters? Now pour on the egg whites. Once it's done frying, roll it up. And there's plenty to go around. Looks like we're stacking letters. But what goes up must come down. Yeah, smashing stuff sure can be fun. But let's take some nano tape and make a small pouch for your slime. You can even make it into a letter. Just remember to seal them up tight. Hats. And they're just your size. But with great hair, you won't want to cover it up. We've got enough to make braids. And in every color, too. Careful, everyone. F's got a slingshot. And he always gets his target. It's okay. Just grab a plastic bottle and a balloon. Attach them and add marshmallows. They're great in hot chocolate. Or just by itself. 
so why not try both? Looks like DJ A's throwing a party. And everybody's invited. Well, almost. Aw, we can have our own fun. Cut some strips out of paper. And place some more paper inside. You can draw some changing letters. And pretty soon, the gang's all here. <laughs>